here and welcome back to the latest Warhammer news video. If you guys are looking forward to the Warhammer news, do me a big favor, hit that like button below and let's see how many likes we can hit on this video. So, on the 30th of November, Games Workshop had their Warhammer 40k open day and they showed a lot of cool stuff. But before I get to that, this week's pre-orders, which is going to be on the 7th of December, has been announced and the Warbands of Warcry are getting re-released as Age of Sigmar sites. We have the Untamed Beasts, Iron Golems, Cypher Lords, Splintered Fang, Corvus Cabal and the Unmade get new boxes, but the boxes contain double the sprues of the original box. The price of the original Warcry boxes were 40 euro. So it only makes sense that the price of the new ones are going to be around 60 euro. So fingers crossed that the prices won't get any higher than that. And staying with the team of Chaos, the new Slaves to Darkness Star Collecting set is also up for pre-order this weekend. We talked about this box two or three weeks ago I think. And this box is incredible because it contains 16 brand new models that haven't been released yet. And they look great. The models are 9 updated Chaos Warriors that were badly needed. A champion, five mounted chaos knights, and an awesome chaos lord mounted on a chaos beast. And with every new army release also comes their endless spell models as well. All three of the chaos endless spells look really good, but I really like the guy breathing the fire. And of course, to see the rules for all these new models, a new Slaves to Darkness battle tome is being released alongside of them. I was a bit confused when I saw the book first because I thought it was the Archeon battle tome because it has the exact same cover, but it says on the Warhammer site that it extends Archeon's plans and the rules for the added slash update of the Slaves to Darkness models. Also coming from Warcry this weekend is the scenery that was part of the Warcry starter set. The Azerite Shattered Plaza and the Azerite Rune Chapel are getting their separate releases. Most of the parts of these sets are walls so it lets you extend your train out as far as you want and it's some nice looking terrain and it's good to see that this set finally has its own separate release. The final thing that is going to be up for pre-order this weekend is the brand new Ogre Blood Bowl team. Big is beautiful and I think the Ogre Blood Bowl team has been long overdue. But since the Ogres didn't get a lot of new models released this year, this new team of Ogres seems to fill that void a little bit. I'm excited to get a box of these because the Ogres were one of my first fantasy armies and I'm really looking forward to adding these to my collection. But that's not all. Forge World are releasing three new models for the team and two of them are Ogre Ladies. So if Ogre Ladies are your thing, then you're in luck. Make sure to check out the Forge World website this Saturday. And finally, we come to the Warhammer 40k open day that happened at Warhammer World. This was on the 30th of November and it showed a lot of upcoming stuff. To start us off, they showed a compilation video of their animation stuff that they've been working on. Now, they do say that some of this stuff is just for show and some of the stuff is going to be released as an animation series. But the first one set to be completed is the Angels of Death project and the first trailer is to be released in the Las Vegas Open this January coming. The other two big things that they showed at the Open Day is more Sisters of Battle models and the Skatari flying model. Triumph of Saint Catherine is a damn beautiful beautiful centerpiece for the Sisters of Battle and better again it's getting released early next year. The Skatari also have a big model release, a new big model release. The Cult of Mechanicus has gotten a flyer called an Archaeopter. I think that's how you pronounce this. But the flyer has got a bit of a mixed reaction mostly because of the wings. But I really like it and I think it fits that Skitari aesthetic perfectly. So that's it for this week's Warhammer news. What do you guys think? Are you going to be getting some of the new Sisters of Battle pieces? Are you going to get that Skitari flyer? Are you waiting for the Slaves of Darkness? I think the Slaves of Darkness is the big winner this week. That new Star Collecting Box. And that Ogre Team Tron in there as well. Perfect though. But anyway, make sure to hit the like button guys. Let me, give me some feedback on these videos. Let me know what you think of the Warhammer news. And subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next video.